Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video, I'm going to discuss the solver window and how to customize that in Flow Simulation. Here we've got a project. I'll go to Flow Simulation Solve. I'll choose Run. For the sake of time, I've already ran these results. So I'll hit uh, Run once more just to bring this window up that we're going to discuss. And um, this window, the solver window, it's actually a pretty useful window. First thing I want to point out is just the fact that you can re resize this. Uh, in some cases, you might want a tiny window up here in the upper left to allow you to work, you know, multitask. In other cases, you might want a very large window. But but make it the size that you want, right? Um, now the other thing is uh, that this has some very good information in it. Uh, for example, this warning a vortex crosses the pressure opening. Typically, we want to do something about that. We don't want to just uh, run with these results. So um, immediately when we start seeing warnings, we may want to stop the run, maybe go and resolve that and come back in and, and try not to have those, those errors or warnings. Um, but the other thing I want to mention is uh, under view, we can show our, the toolbar, the status bar, the window bar. Okay, those are these bars at the top and bottom. We can also insert uh, different information, for example, a goal table. Um, and then you can see that uh, this starts to get a little busy, a little jumbled perhaps. We can uh, take advantage of tiling horizontally or vertically. Okay, I'll tile these horizontally. So you get a nice little layout there. And then once we've uh, maybe customized a certain layout, we can also save that layout Go to view layout, save. Let's call this layout uh, horizontal. Save that so we can get back to it. Um, I have another layout that I've created previously. Let's load that. Okay, that will be layout one. So we can load that and get a different layout, vertically tiled windows. Um, but there's a lot of information here that, that is really useful. The most important thing I think is. Uh, I like to watch the goal plot. This uh, line graph here is a, uh, if it was running, it's a real-time uh, progression towards your goals. And typically, you'll get peaks and valleys, and then as your goals start to converge, uh, they'll start to flatline, and that indicates that you're getting close to convergence. Um, you know, when they converge, they'll typically go all the way to flatline. Okay, um, the other thing here is just that... Uh, uh, if we're running a calculation, we can stop or suspend uh, the calculation through this window as well. Um, that's one great thing about Flow is you can actually stop the calculation and restart it. Uh, so you don't have to you don't have to start from scratch again. But um, make this window what you want. Uh, use it to your advantage. Uh, it's a really nice feedback tool while you're running projects in Flow Simulation. My name is Tim Roberts. Thanks for watching this quick tip video.